Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Philippe Wayland, co-founder of Party Wall Pro. Um, I just have a little confession to make before we start. I'm actually not a surveyor myself. Um, I'm a solicitor, but I've developed a keen interest in Party Wall uh, matters, and so I had to really get Party Wall surveyors involved from the start before developing anything meaningful. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how and what kind of pain points I've discovered while talking to them and how the software itself addresses those pain points. So I started my research by asking a simple question. What is the most frustrating part of your job? So take a couple of seconds to just think about that in relation to party wall. The most frustrating bits. So this is what I got copy-pasting names and addresses in notices and correspondence, keeping track of all notice periods, keeping owners informed, making sure all steps of the process are fulfilled, and managing documents. So now imagine. Imagine a tool that could generate error-free notices, acknowledgement forms, and cover letters, and all these in only a few clicks. Imagine a tool that could give you an overview of the status of all your active jobs and give you the comfort that all your statutory duties are met. Imagine a tool that could keep track of all notice periods and remind you to issue follow-up letters. And imagine a tool that could help you update owners in a second. And above all, a tool that can help you save time so you can focus on growing your business. And this is, of course, what Party Wall Pro does. So I will show you in five easy steps how all those pains and frustrations can be addressed. OK, so let's begin with uh, creating a new matter. You um, enter your matter name, your reference number. You can choose whatever reference number you want. And then choose whether you're acting for the building owner or the adjoining owner. The system will act completely differently. Obviously, this is taken into account whether you're acting for the building owner or adjoining owner. Let's, let's choose building owner for the sake of argument. The surveyor in charge. These will be the people that have, have uh, logged in or are registered onto the system in your company. If it's just you, um, you'll, have, you'll have only one name. So surveyor in charge and name surveyor in case those people are different. Then you enter the details of your building owners and adjoining owners. So we've built into it a postcode lookup. Um, as you can see, my browser remembers uh, what I've done in the past, but you can look up uh, which address you, uh, you need and it will enter the details um, uh, by itself, which is a great time saver. Then the building owner name, this follows the logic of the title registry uh, details. If it is a company or an individual, if it's a company we have built in an API directly into company's house, which is very handy especially to figure out whether the company is um, has been dissolved or is still active. Um, also, if you only have a company number, it can look it up and give you the details on the name and the address. If you have a name, like for example, this is my company, um, and it will look up company's house, what they have on a record, and obviously this is, this is updated. So then you can pick whether it's a freeholder or a leaseholder. If you pick leaseholder, then it will divide it into either all or part of. And here you can enter the floor numbers or flat number um, appropriately. So, And then you have also um, an ability to change, to select the main contact if it's an agent or an architect or project manager and if the details are different. And then you then have also the correspondence address, which if it's the same as a site address, you can select. Um, then the same process will then be applied to the adjoining owners, where you have a postcode lookup as well, and whether it's a company or individual, you'll have those um, functionalities too. 
and you can add an indefinite number of adjoining owners, obviously. So once you've inserted the details of the building owners and adjoining owners into the system, and if you're acting for the building owner, it will be time to issue the notices. Here, you can select which note notice you want to issue. And then the subsection um, and the type of structure here. You can either select the paragraphs for the um, 222 um, section, or if you don't want to select any, you can actually um, you have that option as well. Um, you can include a Section 8 access notice and special foundations as well. You will have the standard RSCS wording. Um, that is the Act, actually, the, the, the sections of the Act here that you can play with. Then we have the option on Possible Pro to include a cover letter. We have a standard template but you can also upload your own firm template with your logo. Uh, there's a, a PDF here that explains how to do it. If you struggle, we can do that for you at no extra charge. And the last stage is specify the service dates. You can do that um, as of today or in the future and issue it as a PDF or Word. I would suggest doing it in Word because obviously then you can play with it. Um, you can then apply this particular notice to all the adjoining owners or to a select few. So if you select them all, it will obviously create it for all um, the adjoining owners. You click on finish and in only a few seconds you'll, um, you'll have the, the notices plus acknowledgement forms plus the cover letters that will get populated for you. Um, so here we'll have the standard cover letter, which might not be of, of your, you know, your taste, um, but this is obviously in, in the system, but if you want your own, you can do that. And here the party structure notice that will show up with all the relevant details and also if you have selected um, if it's a he or a she, all the personal pronouns will actually get drafted in there as well and the relevant acknowledgement forms will uh, will follow follow through as well so this is how you create a notice in only a few clicks in party wall pro so how do you keep track of all your matters well it's easy in party wall pro you just have to click on live matters you'll have your list of existing jobs you click on and you can you can search them um, in uh, with with any kind of um, date uh, name um, person in charge or name surveyor. So you click on the one that you want to view, and here is the summary. You'll have all the relevant details: name surveyor, person in charge, how many adjoining owners, how many notices have you created, schedule of a condition recorded. If it's red, obviously not a good sign. And this is your progress bar. This is where you see what has been done. I've noticed, I've served that notice on, on the 27th of November. Has a 10 day letter been issued? No, third surveyor appointed, no. And obviously at the end of your matter, you'll have all these um, numbers filled, filled in, in blue uh, to show you that everything has been done. So this is the kind of quick um, update that you can get on, jump on if one of your owners calls you out of the blue. Report view, that's the, if you want to issue a report, this is the kind of spreadsheet that you are obviously used to. You can print it and or send it by email, save it and send it by email to update your, your owners. So another painful point in um, being a, a practitioner in party wall is to keep keep track, keep on 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 top of all the active jobs. So this is the dashboard. This is where 
it will tell you, the system will tell you the notices and, and letters that need to be um, uh, issued, the kind of reminders and appointments that you have or your team have, because you can see there what, what, um, what every, every team member can see. And here on your right hand side, you'll have the updates, what has been done today uh, and who has done it. So you can see that on this particular day at this time, uh, Philip Whalen generated a section three notice and you have a quick link to it to view what has been done. So if a member of your team or your PA does something on the system, you'll see it here. The notice is here. It will tell you you need to draft a 10-day letter because in that particular matter, Croft and Close, you haven't heard from this particular adjoining owner. So to create a 10-day letter, you just click on it. It will either create it in PDF or Word, and it will be automatic. And all the details and all the references to the date you issued the notice will be in here. Obviously, uh, ignore the date because this is my test account and um, things don't always make sense. So this is your dashboard and it, it is very conven convenient, um, especially if you are working with other team members or a PA that helps you um, with, with your matters. Okay, so fast forward, we have for one particular adjoining owner, we've made a lot of progress. And we're going to start drafting the award now. So what you can do that in in Party Wall Pro as well. So if for the award, let's create here the award. The system will know whether it's an agreed surveyor or two surveyor award if you've kept it updated enough. Um, you can give your award a title. And then the explanation of boundary condition. This is standard wording again. Um, you will see it will make more sense when you see the, um, the actual award, the template that um, we, we use. Um, and then intended works. So this will be carried over from your notices but obviously you can then, it gives you a chance to play with it before inserting it into the document. Um, there's a schedule of documents at the end of the award where you can insert all the references to the drawings, method statements, calculations, etc. Um, expenses and costs, here are the contributions, security for expenses and costs section. So, you enter the relevant details here and as soon as you click on one of the sections you will have the relevant wording that will be added to um, the, uh, the award. Checking engineers fees if needed um, and section 1111 contributions as well. So and same you can specify the date um, Create it as a PDF or Word. I would always suggest doing it in Word because obviously um, then you can play with it and you're not stuck with a template that you don't like. In, um, depending on how important it is for you, we can upload your own in-house template if you want. And all the relevant details will then be inserted in here. So the relevant names, um, gender as well. Um, and everything will cascade through the award. Um, the, the dates, the, um, the notices have been issued, the subsections we're referring to, then when you actually agreed the third surveyor in this case, um, and um, then all the, the rest of the details that you've inserted will be in here. So this makes your life considerably easier because you don't have to go through all the files because all the data is kept on, on the system and will be inserted in the award. So now that I've shown you um, what Party Wall Pro can do, 
um, we, I'll show you a cost-benefits analysis that we've uh, put together using numbers from actual from our actual users. So just to illustrate a few a few um, a few of the functionalities, the matter tracker, for example, our users say it saves them um, roughly 30 minutes a day checking what has been done and what needs doing. And that, depending obviously on your hourly rate and how many people are in your team, it saves them between a thousand and four thousand pounds a month. The team tracker, that again depends on how many people you have, but we're, we're talking about weekly or monthly meetings and just keeping on track of what other people do and even, even just your PA. So that is roughly between £370 to £1,500 saved a month. A document management system, because all the documents are saved electronically in one spot and it, you, you don't need to go through all the documents every time an owner calls you or whenever you need to draft a new letter. That's roughly £200 a month, let's say, support staff time. And keeping owners informed. Here, we, here again is just what I said, is going back to the documents, your paper documents, whenever you need to update an owner. You can do it in only a couple of clicks. That's roughly £800 a month. That's obviously senior surveyor's time. Um, and so that's a staggering, staggering between £2,300 a month and £6,400, which is, which is massive. Party Wall Pro puts all matters, milestones and documents in one place without diluting the requirement for professional expertise. This is not a one-fix solution for a novice surveyor, but instead a professional piece of software that allows professional surveyors to be more organised, more efficient and more profitable. Party Wall Pro helps me keep on top of everything. I'm not dreading receiving a call from an irate builder owner anymore because I know that everything is under control. As a busy surveying practice, we were keen to find a software solution which would reduce time spent on the admin aspects of party wall matters without compromising on the quality of work we produce. We have found that balance with Party Wall Pro. Party Wall Pro is like having an effective assistant in the office 24 7, but without a corresponding salary leaving your account. I highly recommend. So, there you have it. There are actually more functionalities, but uh, we haven't included them in this video because otherwise it would be two hours long. Um, so if you want to grow your party wall business and want to stay in control of your heavy workload, why not join the community of party wall professionals that have signed up to Party Wall Pro? For £828 a year, you could be saving up to 72 grand. And that time and money will be spent on developing more business. And it gets better. If you sign up today, you can use it for three months. And if you're not happy at the end of those three months, we give you your money back. No questions asked. So um, scroll down and sign up and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks a lot.